So I just wanted to look at the Maxi Park plough range. You know, good a place to start as any is the Cavernland. We've got a couple of um, Cavernland mouldboards here. We've got the number 28, which is the sort of big brother to the number eight. There are two most popular ones. We then move on to the shares. So we do the non-tungsten share. And you can see that this is actually quite nicely formed. You've got the curve to it. Good seller. But where a lot of people want to do for longevity is they go to the tungsten version of that share. Now there is something to just notice here and that is that it's very straight. You can't really get away from that. Tungsten doesn't like to bend very much so when you go for a share it's not exactly the same dimensions as the non-tungsten version. We then move on to the three points that we do in the maxi part range. So we've got the non-tungsten point. Now you'll see from here it's a little bit thicker than the normal points that are out there. So this is showing 15.2 mil. So it's a little bit thicker, but it is the non-tungsten version. What you then go to is the tungsten points. Now you'll see instantly that these are thicker. It has to be really in order to take the tungsten tiles so this doesn't wear out too quickly. We've got to go thicker. Some people don't like that, but it is a necessary um, on tungsten. So here we have a standard tungsten point seed two tiles and no hard facing. We then do a hard faced version and you'll see that we've got tungsten on the front. We had then go on to the shins. So again we have the non-tungsten version, uh, quite a slim shin as per sort of OEM but does its job perfectly well. Again when people are using tungsten they would generally go for a, a tungsten shin. And here you'll see that there's a nice bend on here, a nice radius. So we've been able to follow that by doing lots of small tiles rather than the longer ones that you'll see down on this flat edge. So that curves all the way around and you'll notice that that tungsten goes right the way to the very top. A lot of tungsten shins will actually finish around here, just below that sort of top bolt hole somewhere, and ours goes right to the top. That's been very welcomely received, so that's gone down well. Then going towards the back end of the plough, you've got the skimmers. So we do two different types of mouldboard. So we have the deeper mouldboard, often called a maze board, and then you have the more standard board. There in the maxi part range, you then have a standard skimmer point and our tungsten skin point. Again, a little bit flatter, doesn't have the same sort of curves as, as the non-original. Again, it's a necessity and what you'll see again is we have tungsten right the way along here and again right the way to the very top. Mostly when you see a tungsten skimmer point, you'll see that the tungsten comes to somewhere here or sometimes just flat along the bottom. We have that tungsten right to the top edge, again gone very, very well. And then finally moving on to the right, the back end of the power, we've got the land sides. So we've got the two land sides, you've got the shorter land side, and then you've got the longer land side. Very common if you've got a five furrow plow that you would run four um, shorter ones that are called the front, along the front, and then the very rear land side would be the rear land side or the longer one. Some people run the long ones right the way through, some people run the short ones right the way through. Often if people want to keep a little bit more stability to the plough, if they're working on hills, they can go long right the way. Now they're not handed, whereas the tungsten version, they're the same. What you'll have is the tungsten running through. Now our T's, you'll see that there's tungsten coming down here and then there's tungsten running along. So rather than it being all the way through, they're done in sort of sections. Our T's are longer, so there's much smaller gaps in between. And then what you'll see is we have tungsten on one end. If you run the, them A as being right and B as being left, which is how they're shown in the book, some people like to have the tungsten at the far end. That's where they feel they get their wear, in which case it's very, very easy. You run the left on the right and the right on the left, and then it puts this tungsten on the the other end for you. So in as much as um, you've got the tungsten on one end and not both, but you can use it for either side. 